This is CPM Pre-Calculus Chapter 3, Number 6. So for each of the following, compare the graph of g of x to the graph of f of x equals to x cubed. Describe the transformation using words or a sketch. All right, so let's go ahead and graph um, f of x, right? f of x we're given here is x cubed. And that's our cubic function, right? And that's going to take on this shape, right? This is our x-axis, our y-axis. Now let's go ahead and sketch this, right? Um, on the same graph, we know that <clears throat> multiplying 3 is going to... Um, multiply each y value times 3. So each y value is going to be multiplied by 3. I'm going to use a different color, right? So this point moves up to here. Um, this point moves 1, 2, 3. Like it multiplies by 3 the height, right? And so we're going to have this point. We multiply the distance by 3. This point, we have a distance here. Well, let's increase the three times, so it's one, two, three, so um, I'm going to erase that, but one, two, three, right? I'm just kind of getting some points. So it's going to be, as you can see, a lot more narrower, right? In green here, we have g of x is equal to 3x cubed, all right? So what transformation took place? Well, we know this is a vertical stretch. Whoa. Vertical stretch by a factor of 3, right? And we can see that our curve in blue, right, going from f of x, when we multiply by 3, it's getting narrower and narrower um, and hugging the y-axis a little more tightly. Okay, so let's leave f of x here because we're comparing each one of our graphs to that. Let's go on to part b. Part b, we have um, inside the parentheses, we're multiplying by 3, right? And what does that mean we are going to do? Well, if you... Um, Remember, inside the parentheses, when we multiply it, we're going to be um, horizontally stretching by a factor of, remember, it's the reciprocal, so it's one-third. Okay? So when it's inside the parentheses, when you're multiplying by a constant, that's the horizontal stretch by a factor of the reciprocal of the constant here, which is 1 over 3. So when you're stretching by a factor less than 1, it's kind of the opposite of stretching. It's like compressing, right? So compressing. So it's getting pushed inward horizontally, right, by a factor of 1 third. So each one of these distances from... Um, the y-axis is cut into one-third. So if you look at this distance, cut it into three equal parts, then we move to one-third of the whole, right? Look at this distance, cut it into three equal parts. We move only one of those instead of all three. So the new g of x is going to be looking like this. Like if you look at the whole distance from... Um, this point to our y-axis, cut it into three. One of those three represent the new um, x value. Okay, so we're horizontally looking at the x-axis, compressing in. So we're pushing the graph in toward the center here. Okay? All right. So this we would describe as horizontally stretching by a factor of three, which is really compressing. Finally, let's go on to part C. Part C, again, is inside the parentheses, the change, right? So this, again, is a horizontal 
stretch by a factor of, and remember you take the reciprocal, the reciprocal of 1 over 3 is 3 over 1, or 3, right? So it's a horizontal stretch by a factor of 3. And that means you take the horizontal value, the x value, and you, in, you multiply it by 3. So if this is 1, right, this is 2, 3. So you're multiplying that value by 3. So that's the new x value for that point, right? So our graph is going to be going like this. Again, you multiply each value by 3. 1, 2, 3. And our graph is going to be that wide, right? So horizontal stretch, it's really pulling the graph horizontally outward, right, by a factor of three times, all right? So that's going to end for a CPM pre-calculus, chapter three, number six.